much living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious street that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, and JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The guitar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pakatari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There's no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he is in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. Time to earn your pay, people. 
Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this? Sob, Nomad. End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so we can find the Maru. Ooh, Ready? Open fire. Roger. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Copy that. I have a shot. Engage. We don't hit civilians, dumbass. Get your fucking head on straight. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Roger. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. I'm shooting these fuckers. Frag out. Clear on this side. Rattled somebody's cage. They're coming right at us. Any ideas, boss? I'm 
fire. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No enciendas? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. La quieres más que a nada en la vida, más la tuya, más la única. Incrustaciones de oro, culatas a la medida. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't going to wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. Venga sea, pimpeame la fusca. ¿Qué esperan, carnales? Porque nada dice mejor quién es que tu fusca. Cáele ya, pilvea de la fusca y deja a tu compañera como siempre la has soñado. Pregunta por las promociones para nuevos clientes. This is Lydia Flores. If you're a buchona like I am, your entire life people have called you Fossil, Madonna. For me, my mother was the first person to call me Madonna. And it was the other niños at school. As I got older, it was boyfriends, co-workers. And let's be honest, my mother has never stopped calling me Mandon. People say it's because they expect a woman to be blessed and sweet. O sea, there are even some women out there, successful women, who want to ban the actual word bossy. But people who are satisfied being blessed, who don't act bossy, even if they don't like the word, they don't get what they fucking want. They don't make millions of dollars a month shipping products all over the world. They don't have a hacienda or hundreds of sicarios ready to die for them. So chicas, be mandonas, be bossy. If you're una cuivida and you're not una cabrona, you won't ever be the fucking boss. Toyo Farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray ram, hold up. I have a shot. Engage him. Fucking hell! Let's 
get back to business. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Hold up. There's a weapons case here. Nice. Me da igual si son extranjeros. Le debemos la vida a estos huevos. Quiero pensar que esta pesadilla va a terminar pronto. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. Get out, todo bien. I'll drive. Go on, I'll be right with you. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces Pak Katari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. Oh, no. 
shall then take it. Check it out. Weapons case. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... Were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si! Sí. Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run of the mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. <laughs>